even though it's 20 years since Gordon's passed the spirit world, as we said earlier, it still only seems like yesterday. But I, I do wonder and hope that, you know, we've continued and, um, and I'm sure we have, um, carried a legacy forward um, of what he left, left behind in, in what we're doing with the students today and what he stood for and what he taught. Because I know in the last years of his life, uh, uh, myself and Simon used to um, get a lot of problems because people couldn't understand why he was giving a lot of help to us. And uh, he said to me his time was limited and he wanted to make sure there was a group of young people who'd got another 30, 40 years ahead to continue his, his work yeah. and, his, and his teachings, which uh, now hopefully um, I can do the same as what he gave to me. It's nice to know that there are so many of us on the earth that really want to take his legacy forward and talk about him as if he's still here. And I think that um, when you look out and you see Gordon Higginson Memorial and Gordon Higginson this, you, you can send a thought to the spirit world and say, yes, we're doing it, Gordon. Yes, we're doing it. And I'm sure when it's time for you and me to go to the spirit world, he'll certainly be there to let us know whether we did it right or not. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I know when <coughs> I began awareness, uh, <coughs> I changed it because that's when I started to bring the group work in. And I remember him getting me after the first week and him saying to me, um, you've changed awareness because it, it's, uh, you, you're moving it forward, aren't you? And I said, well, I hope so. Oh, well, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I think if we lost anything, it's we've lost that spiritual talking, that, I won't say lecturing, but he was a talker, he was a sharer of his truth. That's right. And that's why I think it's nice, like this course, where we're having shoes, same shoes on a regular basis, yeah. where you can have... We're teaching, we have like those informal spiritual talks yeah. and exchanges, and I think the students really benefit mm -hmm. from that, and we can really get across more in that way sometimes than in the formal sense of... Uh, I remember going back years and years, and him saying to me, um, you must go and listen to other people, and then you must make a decision who is going to be, in truth, your partner in your development and um, uh, and I did that and then I chose Gordon and, and stayed with him I don't know if I could have chose him or he chose me but I knew that he touched my soul and, and I really feel that, that that our students of today if they take his legacy forward it would have to be has the word touched your soul and if it has and then stay true to that that unfoldment because there are so many different ideas and opinions on development and that's necessary because all of us are, are trained differently aren't we um, and I just feel that the legacy that he left behind is the openness of the student making a choice and knowing that it's right for them because he was right for us wasn't he? Oh definitely. He I, was right for I, us. I, I can pretty well say that but I'm sure you probably said I wouldn't be who I am and doing what I'm doing today if he had not touched my life Absolutely. and touched the, the spirit. Absolutely. I listened to Ursula Roberts and I loved her. I listened to Mary Duffy and could take her understanding um, and many, many more now that are in the world of the spirit. But if I wanted to go home to my soul to be fed, then I had to go to Gordon. Same, same here. But he used to say the same about uh, mediumship as well, and, you know, once you find the right medium for you, yes, stay, stay that close. Medium. And the point of mediumship was touching the soul of an individual that will bring a change. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about. And that's the legacy he left behind. 